we learned how important transformation is for companies today in an extremely competitive environment. And we're going to show you how that would look like in a company like yours today. Uh, we're going to start off with a sales company where you find modern people like me working on a Chromebook already and the more conservative people like Christian uh, who brought this super modern sub notebook, I guess. Yeah, but I mean, look, this is, this is my, my trusted fellow. I'm, I'm traveling with this notebook anywhere. You can see all my files here. I have access to them on the train, at home, at work. So this is really cool. And in addition, I think I'm really mobile. I also have my private iPad, which I brought with me. That's today. cool. I like that one. But uh, so it's the 31st of March 2014 today, and you're still running Windows XP? Yeah, you know, it's, it's running good. I have no problems with it. And why change? I mean, you know, as you said, I'm a little bit more conservative, so things are great. So perfect. OK, come on, let's start working here. So for this demo, we assume we both work in a sales department. And uh, the first thing we want to do in a sales department, we want to have a look at a forecast sheet, all right? So Friday or Monday morning exercise for pretty much everybody in the sales department. And I sent you an email, I think last Friday, with the forecast figures. And I would like you to review them and show us how that would potentially look like in 80% of the time. Yeah, sure, I, I can do that. And, and you know, just to give you another mobile example, I'm also able to read some news while I'm traveling on the train. This is really great. So as you can see, everything is working great. So jumping to the emails, I saw that you sent me this file last Thursday and you wanted to have an update. Of course I didn't miss that. And you know what, I open this file up, I do some quick changes because I know this goes up to 200 and this is 56,000 and I think I'm done. And I can send it to you right away, no problem at all. I can say, this is the email, I wanna send it to yourself. And I'm done. Voila, so that was a really simple exercise. I mean, getting it from an email, editing it, sending it back, I'm done. But I think now you've got a problem, Thorsten, because you're on the Chromebook. And I heard on the Chromebook, you have only a browser. And how do you want to open Excel on a Chromebook? I mean, Excel on a Chromebook. It's pretty easy, actually. So there are two ways to do that. So I've got you. Oh, we need the other Chromebook, please. Here we go. So there are two ways to do that. Um, a, I can just do it the traditional way, download it, use Google Quick Office to edit the document, keep it in the Excel file format. The problem with that is I always have to aggregate the data later on. So I get a mail from Christian, I get a mail from John, I get a mail from Thomas, and then I'm sitting down on a Friday afternoon aggregating all my spreadsheets. It's actually a waste of my time, and honestly, I feel like I'm a little bit overpaid for that. So the other way what I can do with it is I can just directly go and edit it and convert it into a Google spreadsheet format. And it's going to keep all my formats. It's going to keep my formulas. It's going to keep my data, obviously. And I can reuse it exactly the same way. So hang on for a moment. So you're saying you can pull out this Excel sheet from an email attachment, convert it into a Google sheet, and I can see on your screen that it's now in a browser. But that's, that's somehow cool. But it's still isolated, it's still your private file. I mean, you still need to aggregate the data and the values from the others. So Do you remember your network drive where we shared the data earlier? Yeah, with, sure. You know, with all that, this file is locked, someone else is working on it. Yes, I remember so that. So what time. I do right now, I just move that to my team folder, which is here already. And with that, you will have access to that file and we can co-edit the document all together and I will see whoever is joining. So there's the first person already. Let's see who that is. Oh, John just entered that spreadsheet. I can even chat with him and say, oops, no. OK, 
okay, the chat works when the guy is online in the same document, but what if yeah. he's not logged into the same document? Well, if I feel like there's something someone should review, I can insert a command okay. and say, oh, let's say, uh, John, can you review this? And what's happening right now, John is getting an email with this command, and whether he's on a mobile device, he can just reply to that, and the reply is going into this email, or when he's online the next time, he can say, I've done that, and here we go. Oh, that's really interesting. I think we can be much more effective and productive by moving the sheet to, to Google Drive, so we can all access it. Um, how can I exit it from, from my wonderful fellow here? Well, that's actually very easy, right? You have that Chrome browser there. You just go to drive.google.com and you will see your shared folder. Okay. And with that, you have access to the document. You don't have to install anything. There's nothing you need to do. You just go there and that's it. Just the browser. Okay, just fine. Browser. I have the browser here. I can remember. Let me try that. Oh, no. Oh. Wow. Oh, shit. What happened now? I, I, just, I just clicked on the browser. That's all what I did. So. Uh, John, do we, do we have a spare machine for him? But, but no. I can't believe that, you know? The, the machine is working fine since, since yeah, I can't Well, remember. it's 10 years old, right? So potentially the hardware is finally Still, broken. I am 40 years old, you know? It's, it's not the age, it's a pro. I have my data on it, and I want to okay. access the shield. What can Honestly, I Honestly, I would like to get the exercise done. So please do me a favor. Just switch to your iPad, finish the exercise reviewing the figures on your iPad, and uh, here we go. But can I? I mean, it's my, my private iPad, right? Yeah. But, but you, you're using Gmail, I guess, privately as well. You, you might have the Google Drive application installed already. Yeah, I have it. Just open it, add the account from the company, okay. and you will be able to edit it directly from there. OK, so I have a Drive app installed on my private iPad. I hit Get Started, and I can remember the credentials the IT team gave me. I will quickly log in with these credentials. Let's see if this works. I'm not really sure. I mean, it's my private iPad and ah, voila. This is the sales team folder person was talking about. Let's look inside. Oh, wow, this is the sales forecast sheet. Let me try if I can read it. Oh, wow, I can view the sheet, which is in our team folder on the iPad. And I also can see John is modifying it at the same time. That's awesome. And I think, that's great, I have access again. I think I missed that number. I need to update this as well. I think this was not 10,000. I think it was just 1,000. Boss wouldn't be happy. Okay, great. Wow, amazing. Awesome stuff. So, I think we have shown you how easy it is to move from a traditional infrastructure without any hassle. I mean, we had Christian here. Not an IT guy, really, right? He's in sales. He was using his device for ages, a little bit reluctant to change. But we have shown you how easy it is to move from A to B. You don't have to throw away all your old data. You don't have to throw away these things. Even if something is breaking, you can easily go without the support of your support team or your, we call it tech stop. You can move from one platform to the other. There's nothing which needs to be done. So transformation can become very easy for you and with that, you will, you, you will be able to keep up in the competitive environment you're in. So with that, I hope we get you another laptop for the second demo later today. I hope so as well. And uh, we say thank you and uh, wish you a lot of fun for the rest of the day. Thank you very much.